Welcome back! In this video, you are going to become a fishery biologist. A fishery biologist is a real-life career that studies fish and their habitats. You are the eyes and ears monitoring the fish populations and types of fish at Hyatt Lake. Together, we are going to collect data on the population of our five fish species. In order to do this, we are going to need a little bit of imagination. As I mentioned earlier, all five of these fish species are found in different habitats throughout the monument. For the purpose of this simulation, we are going to imagine that all five of these fish live in Hyatt Lake. Sound good? Go ahead and turn your imagination hats on. Ping! Okay, now that our imaginations are turned on, we're going to need to get a few other materials to be ready. Make sure you have your student response page and a writing utensil handy. Together, we are going to use these materials to record the populations of fish in Hyatt Lake. Before we begin, I need to explain how this process will work. Using the data sheet on your student response page, you will record the fish population after each simulated year. The first year will be our learning round, and I will walk you through how to record the data. During the simulation, carefully examine the fish's feeding behavior. At the end of the simulation, we will take a look at how much each fish ate and how this will impact their population for the next year. Ready? Here we go! Wow, those fish sure were hungry. Did you notice that these fish species have a particular feeding behavior? Each fish only ate a specific color of food. Red band trout only ate green, the speckled dace only ate red, and the Jenny Creek sucker only ate yellow. To survive, each fish needs to consume three pieces of food, and for every extra two pieces, they reproduce by one fish. Looking at the red band trout, the population started with one fish, and that one fish ate seven pieces of food. It only needs three to survive. That means it ate four extra pieces, allowing it to reproduce by two fish. Now, the total population of red band trout is three fish. Go ahead and write that on your data sheet for year one. The speckled dace started with one fish and ate seven pieces of food as well. Similar to the red band trout, the speckled dace now has a population of three. Record this number on your data sheet. Finally, the Jenny Creek sucker ate five pieces of food. It ate three to sustain its population and reproduced by one because it had two extra pieces. Its total population is now two fish. Record two on your data sheet. Woof! Now let's move on to year two. Here we go! Okay, now let's interpret the data for year two. Remember, to survive, each fish needs to consume three pieces of food, and for every extra two pieces, they reproduce by one fish. Let's see how our fish did this time. The red band trout started with three fish, and it ate 18 pieces of food. In order for the population to survive, all three fish needed to eat nine pieces of food. How did I get that number? Three fish times three pieces of food equals nine. That means there are nine pieces of food left over. Remember, the fish population needs two extra pieces of food to reproduce by one fish, and there are four groups of two, so the red band trout population will grow by four more fish. There are now seven red band trout in total. Go ahead and write that on your data sheet for year two. Moving on to the speckled dace, this fish population also started with three fish, and it ate 16 pieces of food. Since it ate 16 pieces, the three fish were able to survive by eating nine pieces of food. With seven additional pieces of food, we have three groups of two pieces, so the speckled dace population will grow by three more fish. 
Its total population is now six fish. Record six on your data sheet. Let's see how the Jenny Creek sucker did. Remember, the Jenny Creek sucker started this year with a population of two, and it consumed eight pieces of food. In order for its population to sustain itself, it needed to eat six pieces. Left over, there is one group of two, so the Jenny Creek sucker reproduced by one fish. Its population is now three. Make sure you write three on your data sheet. Now, let's observe what happens in year three when the northern pike minnow and brown bullhead catfish invade the environment. Year three, the invasion begins. <laughs> That was an interesting year. Did you notice anything different about the feeding behavior of the two new invasive species? These invasive species are able to consume any color of food. They are not picky eaters. Let's see how the population has changed now that these new species are here. The red band trout started with seven fish, ate 24 pieces of food, and was able to increase its population by one fish. The speckled dace started with six fish, consumed 18 pieces of food, and its population was sustained at six fish. The Jenny Creek sucker started with three fish, ate 14 pieces of food, and its population is now five fish. The recently introduced invasive northern pike minnow started with one fish, and that one fish ate 13 pieces of food. Its population is now six fish. It increased by five fish in one year. Wow! The other introduced invasive fish, the brown bullhead catfish, started with one fish, and that one fish ate nine pieces of food. Its population is now four fish. Something seems pretty fishy about these invaders. Let's see what happens in year four. Year four, the invasion continues. Let's analyze the data for year four. The red band trout population started with eight fish. To sustain its population, the red band trout needed to eat 24 pieces of food. Unfortunately, the red band trout population was only able to eat 16 pieces this year. That means only five fish were able to eat their three pieces of food to stay alive into the next year. Think of the following equation. Five fish times three pieces of food equals 15 pieces of food. Therefore, three fish did not survive to the next year. The speckled dace population started with six fish, and those six fish were able to consume eight pieces of food. Unfortunately, this was not enough food to sustain the population. As a result, the speckled dace population lost four fish. It now has a population of two. The Jenny Creek sucker population started with five, ate 14 pieces, and lost one fish. It is now at a population of four fish. The northern pike minnow started the year with six fish and ate 26 pieces. This amount was enough food to sustain the six fish, allowing the northern pike minnow to reproduce by four more fish. Its population is now at 10. The brown bullhead catfish population began with four fish and it gulped down 18 pieces of food. This amount allows the brown bullhead catfish to reproduce by three more fish. Its population is now seven. Now, let's move on to year five. Year five, who is going to survive? <laughs> Let's collect the data. The red band trout population started with five fish and ate 12 pieces of food.
Because it was unable to eat 15 pieces of food, its population decreased to four fish. The speckled dace population started with two fish and ate five pieces of food. Because it was unable to eat six pieces of food, its population decreased to one fish. The Jenny Creek sucker population started with four fish and ate nine pieces of food. Because it was unable to eat 12 pieces of food, its population decreased to three fish. The northern pike minnow population started with 10 fish and ate 31 pieces of food. This amount allowed the northern pike minnow to sustain its population of 10 fish. The brown bullhead catfish population started with seven fish and ate 26 pieces of food. This overabundance of food allowed its population to increase by two fish. The brown bullhead catfish population is now nine fish. One more year to go. Year six, we got this. <laughs> Are you ready to collect our last year of data? Let's go! The red band trout population started with four fish and chomped eight pieces of food. Because it was unable to eat 12 pieces of food, its population decreased to two fish. The speckled dace population started with one fish and ate three pieces of food. This amount allowed the speckled dace to sustain its population of one fish. The Jenny Creek sucker population started with three fish and consumed eight pieces of food. Because it was unable to eat nine pieces of food, its population decreased to two fish. The northern pike minnow population started with 10 fish and ate 31 pieces of food. This amount allowed the northern pike minnow to sustain its population of 10 fish. The brown bullhead catfish population started with nine fish and ate 33 pieces of food. This overabundance of food allowed its population to increase by three fish. The brown bullhead catfish population is now 12 fish. We did it. Your data sheet should be complete now. If there are any blank spots in your data, feel free to go back in the video to get the numbers you may have missed. In the next video, we are going to interpret the stories these numbers tell us. See you soon!